So yeah, uh, this is me Ali Raza and I'm here with an amazing Google Merchant Center Suspension Case Study. So for those who don't know, we are one, one of the industry's finest companies for Google Merchant Center Suspension Management plus Google Ads Disapprovals Management, Google Shopping Companies Management, Shopify, WordPress Development. So in case if you need either of these services or other digital marketing services, you can hire me and my team through the link in the description and we look forward to working with you as a Google partner. Now, without wasting your further time, we are going to discuss regarding the finest case study for another Google Merchant Center account suspension. So this was the website you know which was all initially initially originally suspended for misrepresentation over here so we also provide people with google merchant center accounts as well however the compliance is necessary so for which we have our own setup and checklist for which we do the compliance so in case if you are getting a new account uh, gmc account from us we also do the compliance of your website along with that as well so the similar scenario was over here as well and i'm going to show you the suspension as well and then so this was an initial original suspension over here uh, but the client wanted to charge in Poland and there was an issue of verification of identity we also helped the client in uh, providing the uh, ID verification documentation as well and this is the suspension uh, mystery presentation review as well so you may see over here as well the review was requested now moving on there were you know few of the uh, audits being done as well with the team so again uh, we have a 160 plus checklist which we ensure to make sure that the website is being compliant with Google Message Center, no uh, error issues, no suspension issues, including starting from heading, adding the announcement bar, fact, track your order page, uh, small to small money mistake, even the font, if your website is different font somewhere else, your account is going to be sus suspended as well. If you are uh, using the uh, replica images, uh, plagiarized content, your account is going to be suspended as well. Uh, your track audio, your, your order page is fine. If your payment methods you are mentioning on the website and on somewhere else is different, or if your shipping address or your homepage address is different on our page and on different on your some another page or on your GMC account or on Shopify so this can cause suspension so a small to small mistake can cause suspension as well so uh, we also recommend not to sell any replica products as well so this uh, creates a huge core issue uh, so uh, there was a lot of errors as well then we recommended adding your contact information to be added on all pages of the footer including company name website name address email phone number company number contact form should be fine without any placeholders though there should not be any placeholder in the contact form or on the email newsletter because these are the places where the contact uh, placeholder is found and that can cause suspension as well also your be business hours along with the gmt and social media compliance is also necessary including adding the company email address on social media and that company email address should be the part of your website as well there should not be any public like gmail or email addresses as well uh, which are accepted and there were some missing pages as well including do not sell my information or track your uh, footer page uh, we uh, recommended adding door those then in footer we recommended adding some information uh, some smaller minor to minor changes you know it's a team project so the team was hopefully involved in day-to-day -day update plus uh, communication was being with google to get it approved so sometimes even the lines are the cause of suspension the shipping policy should uh, need to be fine the extra line should be removed you know, extra spacing even if you're using different fonts on a page are not accepted we have so far 160 plus checklist guys which we make sure to do the compliance on the website so you may see over here a small disclaimer, disclaimer issue the look uh, if the link is taking to dead links broken links are not acceptable so uh, we also suggested adding a note from the ceo your journey your story some place where you see over here the placeholder is now being found over here as well so the placeholders are not accepted in the gmc website the website speed should be fast make uh, the speed should be 90 plus even on the desktop even on the mobile everything should be fast plus the dead link should be removed so a lot of work was you know needed to be done to get it approved and then again there was not a single audit many audits many small mistakes another day another mistake and now multiple people are doing multiple mistakes so sometimes uh, this can get, get caught so which is why we have our own checklist own checkup which is used to get it approved some again placeholder errors and other errors even someday if you, if you and if your social media link is not working fine if you are uh, do not have any good quality reviews sometimes this can cause an issue sometimes you may see over here the payment policy page may have different payment methods while at the checkout the payment methods are different or on the footer the payment methods are different so the small to small mistakes could cause suspensions so we have to look for each and small detail to get it approved before even requesting a review <coughs> so you may see over here that we also suggest adding banners removing extra banners pop-ups or everything you know which can cause suspension we adding the newsletter box we you know have to have a lot of things to be added so you miss your head the small to small details were being added a lot more more work was done including the phone number 
everything even we do the cross testing we randomly call our customer support website to see if everything is working fine or not so yeah we do we do this compliance to get it approved these some you know uh, multiple team members were involved some was doing the changes some was doing the implementation so yeah these are you know the big things i'm going to show you and uh, you miss you were here you may see that the labels doesn't match with the products so the first of all there should not be any empty categories and if there are product pages should have complete description information everything needed to be worked out plus if you are having multiple uh, categories no empty categories and all should have right products as a right category if you can't have gadgets in another health category so you need to understand with this so you may see that even we look for the small detail over here like tracking your page return refund policy page should need to be mentioned you need to have a one way policy and that should also be the part of your google merchant center plus shopify and uh, your refund return refund procedure your office address you may see over here that how much mistakes need to be done sorted out before even going further you may see over here that this is the implementation another day another error another mistake to be sorted out and now this is uh, you know uh, this can cause suspension as well so please try to understand a small mistake can cause issue a big mistake can cause an issue a product page is needed to be optimized you may see over here that one product page got 80 percent plagiarism checkout had an issue so you see this can even cause suspension so we look for those as well so this is not allowed so we use multiple tools multiple things to get it approved and i'm you know even what we do is we try to add multiple products which took check even small small detail even the we are going to go everywhere you you're about us page your shop all of the pages all of the trial trial and testing even on multiple devices to see the compliance multiple ip addresses to see everything is working well now this is an approved store however when it was not approved uh, you know they had a lot of issues and a small to small detail you know sometimes people forget it so which is why guys so which is why you can get suspended so again look around for these details that are they fine or not so we can you know even even multiple products you know if you are trying to add everything is working fine you may be like where are the products so you may see they are showing over here so these are my card where the products i have added are now being shown over here you so may see over here that everything is added my proceed to check out page is working fine everything is fine contact payment payment methods PayPal or whatever payment method I'm mentioning over here is working fine or not. My social media page is fine or not. They have active engagement or not. So Google look on so many things to go get it approved. And yeah, this is uh, the story of us as well that we help the clients as well to get it approved. And uh, yeah, so yeah, this is a successful case study. Now you may be asking on how is a successful case study. I'm going to show you guys. So we were at this over here. So taking back from over here. So you may see now this was a time of relief when we finally got an email and you can even check the company email address as well this is associated so yeah dear one to center the requested review of missive presentation has been completed and the issue no longer appears in your account so we also do manual reviews as well so wider team reviews as well so it doesn't matter on what is uh, being done because every case is a different story and how quick you want your account to be approved and you may see the account which had products limited now got approved as well but the story doesn't even end either over here as well because I'm going to show you the live account footage as well. So yeah, this is an account. So I'm going to refresh in front of you. So guys, say that it's not copied something. So yeah, this is now the live footage. The account is approved with the product now being approved over here. So yeah, because the account is now manually approved through the requested review. So it doesn't have any issues. It's working fine. And yeah, it's all uh, the effort of the key team who worked hard with me to make sure that this project worked however well guys you know the gmc suspensions takes time so if you are coming to us make sure that you have to wait but you know what we can assure you is that we can help you to get your account restored and we can also help you with google merchant center management google shopping campaign management even this client is opting for this service so yeah we're helping them with the shopping campaigns management as well so in case if you need that service we can uh, you know uh, help you with that as well so yeah i showed you the product now being approved you miss over here the product is now approved so it's running fine with green and if i look around on the need attention page so uh, there is still one thing need to be added and that is uh, limited performance due to missing gtn gtn helps you in getting more organic reach so this can help you 
uh, and we are going to add those as well so you may see that everything is now fine to get the account approved and running so yeah this is a successful case study for google Magic center mystery presentation we also have clients with website store and online ease improvement uh, uh, you know uh, where the products are uh, uh, replica or counterfeit errors but your products need to be approved uh, original we can help you with counterfeit issue but your products need to be original and all uh, you need to have is your documentation and we can help you in getting all of these restored so yeah i hope you like the case study we look forward to working with you uh, make sure uh, to follow the details and description of this video to get started working with us because we offer a lot of services so yeah thank you for watching and again i look forward to working with you take care and bye bye